Hey guys, um, Godfather Customs here coming at you with an update. Uh, Sunday, I don't know what time it is. Noon, 1 o'clock, I don't know. Um, oh, 2.47, how about that? <laughs> Day goes by when you're having fun. Um, got an update on the 57 Ford Gasser. Let's get these little glasses from blinding me. Um, I went a different route. Uh, as you know, the roof broke because the posts, um, were just way too thin. And when I tried putting the body on the, ch on the, uh, on the chassis, five out of the six posts broke. So then I cut the posts off because I was going to put thicker posts on there, but then it was just a nightmare. So... I did some custom work, you may call it. Um, what I'm going to do, um, once I show you this, I'm going to be lowering the car a little bit more. And uh, maybe changing the color. Um, go with something different because I don't think the color that I've chosen for... What I was going to do works with what I have now. So, without further ado, I will bring this car over here and then I will flip the camera around and show you what I have done. Okay. And here we go. Convertible Ford El Camino. Top is still low. Um, I believe that top is from an old Ford Galaxy that I had. It's not glued on there, but it's going to sit like that. And what I did was I took the roof and enclose the back. Um, still got a lot of work to do on the uh, sanding and stuff like that. But I was able to salvage the car. Um, the windshield post, let me take the roof off. The windshield post is from a 1956 Chevy Bel Air. I cut it off of that car and epoxied it on. So now I'm going to have a flat front windshield. Well, sort of flat, but it's got a little curve in it. Um, but that changed the whole look of what I had going on. Um, like I said, I'm going to lower it down a little bit. I still have to do the exhaust. But like I said before, I've got to put my... Uh, where the heck are they? They're... Uh, they're in the, um, I took one out and just started working on it a little bit. Is uh, the pipes have got to go in this way here and then connect and then they will bend whatever way I feel fit for them to bend. And all, all four pipes will be coming out the sides like so. So there you have it. Something that most likely would have went in the trash I was able to salvage with a little bit of alterations and it'll be a one of a kind how about that so we're just going to set that off to the side and let that dry real good and I'll tell you what else I've been working on let's see what the heck have I been working on oh the CT build let me flip this camera around there we go, I'm back. Um, the CT build. Um, started working on that last night. I was up late, <laughs> about midnight. I was on Joe's uh, live feed, and then I uh, my phone died. <laughs> it seems to be a 
regular thing with me. So now I have my charger right by me so I can keep my phone charged. So on the CT build, I got the chassis, which steers, as you can see, both sides steers. Um, pretty much, you know, chassis is chassis. Um, and then I started working on the motor. Put the motor all together, and um, I'm going all out on the motor. Um, I went online to get the firing order for the um, the Oldsmobile 303 that they used in this car, and uh, actually wrote down the the firing order and uh, everything right here. One three five seven two four six eight. Number one points to number five. Um, took the distributor. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this, but I took the distributor. Let's see. There you go. And I drilled holes where every wire goes, plus the coil. And I've got five point uh, one pointing to number five on that side. On the right side of the engine, and. Uh, That's just sitting in there drying right now. Then I plumbed the carburetors. Two joined together, and then I got the feed coming out the back, which goes down to the fuel pump. And what I'm going to be working on next is the uh, starter and the oil pressure pump, or the oil pump on the bottom. Um working on the heat colors for the headers um, blacked out the grill and wiped it down so I get that uh, that depth on the grill for the, uh, the serpentine belt so there you have that that's got to sit and dry for a day so that uh, I don't have to mess with those that carburetor or not the carburetor, the distributor anymore. Um, also, I was working on uh, the chicken grease garage. I, uh, I'm going to print out Fast Jimmy's logo, and I'm going to put that on the front of this. Uh, but right in the process of uh, priming the front and repainting the front. But I did clean everything out inside. There we got our Nova being worked on. Um, get some light on the subject. In the back we got our compressor. Um, fuel tank. A couple of valve covers and a carburetor sitting on top. Partially built engine next to that. Toolbox uh, with a license plate on top. A trophy and a box of whatever. Tool drawers are open a little bit with the tools showing. Another engine on the engine stand. A couple of batteries back there. Gas can. Manifold sitting up on top of the tire rack. And then we got the Mustang in bay two being worked on. Here's the hose for the impact guns. And we got the uh, the lobby waiting room over here, which is not done. We got the bathroom, which is not done. I just put the phone on the wall. Uh, some exhaust system sitting over the roof. We got the uh, rat rod outside that needs to be completed. And we've got the uh, Corvette having the engine yanked out. I just put the chain on that today. Uh, put the cross support bars on the the engine hoist that I built, I gotta paint the engine hoist. And then uh, out here I'll be putting some type of gravel, maybe train gravel or something like that, to just finish it off. But uh, yeah, something to, something to do on Sunday morning. So there you have it, that's my updates for this Sunday. And uh, I'll be working on both these monkeys here for a little bit, and uh, for now, Godfather Custom signing off.